This is Kevin from Judge Tech Intelligence. Welcome to which watch the video on the topic of how to DIY a professional security camera system. When installing a camera system, we, there are two problems we need to be resolved. The first is the power supply. The second is the video transmission. Today, we have got two sets of plug and play design camera systems. This is a Wi-Fi camera system and this is a PLC camera system. Let's find out whether they can live up to your expectations. Let's begin with the features of this wireless camera system. Firstly, the MVR has an 11-inch Full HD monitor building, saving your cost for an extra display device. That was just beautiful. And for power supply, the Wi-Fi system is up a lot of power. It requires constant power supply. You need to install the cameras close to your power outlet, or you need to pull a power cable from your AC outlet to the ideal surveillance spot. Consequently, it is not convenient enough for power supply. Secondly, on video transmission, the NVR has Wi-Fi access point built in, providing Wi-Fi network for its Wi-Fi cameras. This idea is brilliant because it does not jump on your home Wi-Fi network and slow it down. Plus, the Wi-Fi connection between them is preset in our factory. Users need only to find a power source and there is no need to worry about its video signal transmission. It seems to be convenient enough for DIY, but by choosing this convenience, we have given up a lot of important things. For example, the clarity, the frame rate, the transmission range, and the reliability. For Wi-Fi camera system, 2MP is the maximum res resolution available. Though it is 1080p video flows there, the image quality is not as good as that from a hardware system. And on frame rate, this system gives a disappointing frame rate at only 15 frames per second. There is great possibility of time lag, frame dropping, etc. And important evidence may got lost when there is crime happening. For transmission range, the camera cannot be 50 meters away from the MVR in open space. That's about 150 feet. If there is a concrete wall blocking, the walking distance may be shorter. And for reliability, Wi-Fi connection can be easily affected by the environment, such as the bu building structure, Wi-Fi signal interference, etc. So the reliability is low. To sum up, Wi-Fi camera system is convenient but not professional. How about the PLC camera system? PLC is short for power line communication. The PLC camera system is capable of using home ready built power lines transmitting both power and IP video stream. It eliminated the need of dedicated network cabling and network configuration. Let's go ahead for more details. Talking about power supply, I would like to offer you a warm notice in advance because there are some high power PLC camera systems in the market for sale. As the camera housing are metal, if there is any power leakage, the camera kills. Please ask carefully before buying. However, our PLC products see 12 volts pure low voltage and are CE and ROSE approved. Please feel free to buy and use. As for convenience, it also needs power AC outlet nearby. And for video transmission, no need new cabling. The clarity frame rate is the same as wired camera system. And the transmission range is over 300 meters that's 1,000 feet over power lines. Up to now, the system is so perfect. But why PLC is not dominating the market? That is because PLC technology has its own limits. PLC signal cannot penetrate transformers. The electric meter or a narrow circuit breaker can cut off its data transmission. Therefore, the reliability is unknown. To sum up, PLC system is convenient and professional, but unreliable. Despite the PLC technology limits, the cabling patterns for the PLC system is incredible because 
the Kevin pattern is so easy and all the IP cameras and the MBR can share one pair of AC cable to transmit both power and internet signals. So what else can we do to make things more easier and more stable, more reliable? So we developed this POC and EOC camera gate. We used it to define POC and EOC as power over coax and uh, internet over coax. In fact, it can be defined as power over cable and internet over cable because not only the RG59 coax cable works for the system, all cobra cable works for the system. You can see our cabling patterns we have in our website. As a matter of fact, the BLC cable is not that convenient when compared to home AC power lines. So how about we, we make it more easier? We just cut off the BNC connector like this. We just cut off the connector. And uh, you can see it is not coax, coax or cable inside, but black and red like a power line cable. Why not we build a dedicated power cable and also internet cable with AC power line and make the connection much more easier. Building an IP camera system is as easy as adding an LED light to your home. Here is the 5MP UHD IP camera that I had just cut off its BNC connector. You can see the black and the red wire here and I will install the camera here. Sorry about the roughly done cabling. I just want to show you how easily it can be done. Just to connect the cables by color, red to red and black to black. Do remember to cover the joint with wire tapes. And the system, the system comes with shorted circuit protection. Even if you misconnected the wire, the device will not get burned. Just to correct the connection and the system will work normally. This POC switch collects the video data from all the UHD IP cameras and transmits the data to the MVR over standard CAT5 network cable. It is also the power source for all the UHD IP cameras on the circuit. Now the power is on, let's wait one or two minutes for the system to start up. And here comes the camera's image. So that's all for today's video. Welcome to visit our website to, to get more detailed information. Thank you for watching. Peace.